today we're starting another vlog and I am in a different house now. Um, so yeah, I'm back at home, back at my other house. And if you guys watched our previous video, by the way, I'm really sorry if that's gonna annoy some of you. It's broken, we need to get that fixed or get a new one. Um, but yeah, I said I was gonna show you how I do my hair with this. So yeah, I got this, I think it was like, maybe two weeks ago. And when I showed you guys me using it that day, I actually didn't realise, but I had it on the highest one, which so I thought was like the highest heat, but it actually meant like, it was like the fan one, so it was like a lot cooler, so it wasn't actually hot. So I was doing it wrong, but now I feel like I'm getting there. I'm not like an expert, but I feel like I figured out how to do it. I'm just gonna clip it. I just, I'm just gonna clip them in really, really quickly. Yeah, so it feels really weird. It's literally, it's Thursday today, it feels really weird because I've actually moved all my stuff in. Um, not all of it, but like majority of it um, back in. So I am gonna be obviously vlogging a lot more now I'm back here and obviously will not be leaving the house. <laughs> so I'm going to vlog like my process, like sorting the beauty room up and like my filming room, which is gonna be the room over there you guys might remember it from when i was here before i'm getting a bit confused now which is the shortest that's shorter width wise i'm looking at this one yeah i should really um neaten these up a bit but just shove them anywhere i'm actually curious comment down below if you actually wear extensions or if you've never like worn them before because it's so weird because i feel like I always wear extensions now, like I never not wear them. I've, I've worn them for so long now that I just find it weird when I don't wear them. Like I literally have very thin hair, so they do really help me a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious. Are you lucky enough to not have to wear them? Have you got lovely thick hair? So I went out for dinner the other night on Monday just because I thought, oh, I'd like to go like one last little... I don't really go, me and Ben don't really go out much like for dinner, we're very home birds. We like to, you know, stay in, watch movies a lot and um, have like date nights at home. Um, but I was just like, you know what, seeing as um, everything's closing back up again, should we go out for dinner? And we both actually, me mostly, we love Turkish food and we have an amazing restaurant in Norwich called Hagel. There's actually two but I think I prefer Haggle because they do this thing called La Margin, which some of you may know, some of my Turks watching. Um, it's Turkish pizza basically and it's insane and I wanted to get some before you know it closes and it was just amazing. We went with some really good company um, and yeah it was such a good night. So anyway so I've put them all in, so this is what it looks like when I've put them all in. I already, to be honest, I actually don't mind the way it looks. I just straighten over the top bit and then you're good to go. But I think it is better to do this with um, damp hair. But when you're wearing extensions, that can also be a little bit tricky. This is going to be really annoyingly and, and loud, but I'll just try and show you what I do. And it's just like really simple and quick. And I'm no expert. I don't really know how to blow dry my hair. It's just the way that I do it. So. I just put it on the second one, which is the highest. Then, I just whip. just goes in like that. See? Ta -da. Yeah, and then it just literally just goes in like that. Then I'll just pop that at the back and then just get another section and just work my way up doing literally the same thing. Go. 
Right, so I'm just going to keep working my way up and then when I get to near the top, I will be back. <laughs> to the top. So the top bit is like the most annoying bit to do in my opinion but I'm just going to cut that in two so we'll do this bit first and I'm also leaving my fringe to last as well. So that's what we've got so far, just seems like a nice little blow dry, well I mean I think so. This is how I would do it, I just like it all flicked in, just really nice and big. Then obviously the last little bit here, I'm just going to do the same and then I'll do my fringe and show you how I do it. So because it's a lot shorter, it's a nice a little like layer look, which is nice. And then I'm just going to get my fringe and then this sometimes can be a bit difficult and I'm just going to blow dry it backwards, which I definitely uh, did cut myself and it is very wonky, so excuse that. So yeah, so you just get something kind of like this and then you can just mess around with it. I usually tuck this side actually. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the rest of this side and then I'll be back. So this is basically how it sort of ended. I've just, I was going to flick them back but I've ended up just putting my fringe to the front instead. Like just flings it in a little bit. But yeah, I'm just going to probably just mess around with it a little bit more. But this is kind of how I have ended my little hairstyle. Um, so yeah, so this was just the Babyless. And I think the Babyless, was it? What would you call these? The heat curler. <laughs> the brush. Um, and yeah, I mean, I personally recommend it. I really like it. Obviously, I'm not like a pro. This is just how I kind of like having my hair when I have when I use it. It just seems like a like straight flicky blow dry I guess I don't know it's just kind of the way I like it it was on offer as well for um it was on offer as well for 19.99 so it was only 20 pounds so that is super cheap um I think it was originally 30 but I feel like they're always going to be on offer but yeah so I recommend it I'll leave it down below um yeah, this is just the end result of my hairstyle. I'm just going to get ready now. I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear. I might keep this top on. I wanted to put this top on so you guys could see what I was doing with my hair. But yeah, so this is the end of the hair tutorial and let's get on with the rest of the day. Hi guys, so I've just literally got to Zelia's place and Zelia's just finishing Zelia's place. It's not really, is it? Well, back to the old house, the original house. It's really weird. I don't know what to say, to be honest. I did say to Zelia it was so weird me coming back here because it just brings back memories. But um, yeah, we're about to go into the city, grab some lunch and then do a little bit of Christmas shopping because yeah, we just want to get a couple of bits, get in the Christmas spirit. But before we go, we actually wanted to show you guys something that we received. Okay, so the reason why I look taller is because I'm wearing boots. Yeah, I'm going to tiptoe a bit because <laughs> I feel so short. But me and Zelia wanted to show you guys some beautiful jewellery that we received from Anna Luisa. So it actually comes in a box like this, as you can see, and it actually and it actually has a quote inside which actually says, life has beautiful moments, and this is one of them, which I think is so cute. So inside, they all come packaged like this, which I think is so pretty. You get the black packaging, as you see here, and you also can get the really pretty pink packaging. I guess it depends what you obviously pick out, and then a beautiful, cream one. So we're just going to show you guys what we picked up. So the first item I picked out are these 
pearl studded earrings. I thought these were really cute and quite simple because um, sometimes I like to keep it quite simple with the earrings. But yeah, I really, really liked these ones. And on the back it actually says Hope Love Create, which I think is really Aww. cute. That's cute. Okay, so the first one that I actually picked out was a necklace and I am just obsessed. It's in this really pretty gold shade as well. And I love the fact that it's actually quite small and dainty and not too long as well, which is absolutely perfect. I think I'm actually going to wear this today. I'm not usually one for um, jewellery, but yeah, I really like it. So yeah, I'm excited to put that one on today. The next set are another pair of earrings. This is definitely really out into of the pearls. Yeah, definitely out of my comfort zone with these ones because I do tend to stick with very simple um, earrings like the ones I've just showed you. But I wanted to get something different and I thought these were pretty cool. Again, like Celia said, I stuck with the pearls and yeah, I thought they looked really nice. They say, look good attached to me. They look good attached to me, even better attached to you. That's so cute. Do they all have little quotes like that on them? They have little things on the back, That's yeah. so cool. Oh, yeah, really like that. That's beautiful things. So my next one, I actually picked up a bracelet. I just thought this was also super cute and so dainty looking as well. You can tell that these are made really, really well and they will not tarnish. And look, they're so cute, the little Aww. love heart there on the end. So yeah, it's another one of my favourites. Okay, and then the last um, item I picked out is a ring, which I'm actually going to wear today. Um, it's just a simple gold ring. I think this will look so cute. Just like that, very simple, very me when it comes to rings. And yeah, absolutely love it. And I feel like gold is such a statement. It goes with yeah. my outfit today. It goes really today. well with brown yeah. and camel colours, yeah. I think. Yeah, it looks really yeah. nice. So yeah, absolutely love it. And on this one, I'm going to tell you, your jewellery has been handcrafted to set... Handcrafted oh. to last. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your jewellery has been handcrafted to last. We wish you many happy times together. And the last thing that I picked up was just a, another necklace. This one is also in the gold one as well. And it's a lot more simple, which I absolutely love. I think this one is a little bit longer as well. So maybe I could even wear them both together. Okay. That could look quite cool as well. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed. Just actually popped on the items. We're going to wear them today. So I've opted for the pearl earrings and then my ring. And I have the necklace on. This one is definitely my favourite one, but I also do love the other one. And also I have the bracelet on. So just we just also want to let you know, we do have a discount code, which is Aisha and Zelly at 10 for 10% off. So we'll leave that all linked down below and also on screen if you guys want to shop. Always we'll leave all information and a link down below for you guys to shop on the website. The thing I love about the items that we picked out, they literally go with everything, which I think yeah. is amazing. Because, you know, when you buy something sometimes and you struggle to pair it with certain things mm -hmm. i feel like with everything on their website it is very like very well yeah you can wear it with, wearable with well. anything mm -hmm. yeah so i guess now we're actually gonna head out and we're gonna bring you guys along with us i think the first stop for us is to get some lunch and we're gonna go to um number 33 Yes, I'm like 35, 33. You always 34. get it wrong, but it's 33. Yeah. Um, so we just moved Jack and obviously he's done his time. So we've just come into um, number 33. I ordered the pancakes as I always do. What did you get? And then it says cookies. Yeah, which I used to order all the time. Me and Aisha went with our classic pancakes. Really like your hair like that, Aisha. It looks nice. Thank you. Can I show you? I mean, I No, it looks really nice. So cold out We queued for how long? Half an hour, but it's worth it. So the pancakes have arrived. Aisha's got hers. Good luck, Aisha. Let's see how far we can get with this one. Jack, are you excited for yours? Yeah, mm. straight into it. I used to love that. It does. So, obviously defeated. We did pretty well though this time, to be honest. Jack basically did it. He had a little bit left, but yeah. As well as all of his salad underneath. Why didn't you eat your salad? I just can't go with pasta. No, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah. Okay, so we've just left the city and Obviously we had our lunch and now we're on our way to the range because I want to see if I can find some new baubles and stuff for Christmas. So that's what we're going to do now and then um, I'm not too sure what we're going to do after but we'll take you guys in and show you all the Christmas decorations they have in at the moment. Last year I thought about how things can Oh, 
basically all we've been doing is listening to Michael Bublé's album and what is it? What are we in? November the what? Third? We're on November the 3rd and I'm in the Christmas spirit now. I don't even know. God, it looks so dusty. So lovely. So we have made it to the range and I am super excited because I literally just want to get so many Christmas stuff now just so I can decorate the house um, just in time for December to come around because I feel like I'm going to do it early actually this year. Me and Zell was talking that we're going to do it early because lockdown and everything and I feel like we just need the it will make the house Christmas spirit well. yeah like, something know. jolly so we're gonna help Aisha today I think I'm not getting one so I'm gonna wait for Ben but Jack's here but he's just taking a phone call so you're going for a red theme yeah because we've already got clear and um, cream which I'll show yeah. you in another um, video but I need to get some a red bauble so the range is the best place to come so that's what we're doing yeah this is the tree that we have at home so I'll probably get this back out. <laughs> They're so pretty. They just get me so excited. Oh well, they're nice. I've got these as clear ones. Yeah. I need to get some more of these. I think I've got them. The acorns, yeah. Oh yeah, they're really nice. Oh my god, this one is so much better from the range that I went into. Yeah, it's because we have a massive one. Oh, I might get some more. Oh look, here's the Aisha, the reds. Yeah, so one of our trees. Um, oh, actually, this one's nice. Bread for a red tree. Is that? that? Maybe. I like it. Oh, and these. I Only 89p. Huh? I feel like red's really hard to kind of make it look cool. Yeah, but it's also like Christmas central. I don't know if I'm feeling it. No, you. I mean, if that's what Jack wants, you've got to be fair. No, it's not what Jack wants. He never I thought that. he wanted a red tree. He said we have a festive tree. Oh, I actually like these. Do you not like them? I think they're nice. They're okay. Because of the berries. But do you see what I mean with all the red? Like, yeah, it is, it is hard. Yeah. Have you, have you found any that you like already? What, reds? Yeah. yeah. So you ha this is the first time you're shopping for the red? Yeah. Well, why don't you just not... We looked and then Jack was getting all trained. Aisha, this is nice. No? Yeah, I like that one. Unless we just go gold. You could do gold. It's always gold. Yeah. Okay, let's go gold. Oh, look, already, yeah. They're nice. Should we get them? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. That's cool. I'm going to get these for the cream one. Okay, so we've literally just changed our mind completely and we've put all those baubles back and now we're starting again I don't know if you guys ever do this as well when you're going out looking for baubles But we're gonna go for a different theme because we just felt like the copper was too hard to try and make look good So yeah, you want red which that could probably be really difficult to do as well. I know so difficult I feel like the easiest color to do is pink. I don't want that. No, like um, a light Champ pink, champagne yeah. Jack, do you like champagne? Um, look, if it was up to Jack, our tree would look like this. All these kind of baubles. Would you actually eat like Yeah, pizza? he would. No, not really. Yes, you would. Is that you should have saw the trolley. It was full of all this stuff. Um, Which isn't personally my vibe. I'm very like, classic, you know? Guys, so this is the update. They have completely changed it. They've gone for like the brownie sort of pink um colors copper. yeah copper colors Are you guys happy with these now weird. obviously excuse these it looks weird in there but i think once it comes on the tree you said you wanted to go with those five so i mean i did say red and gold <laughs> no they're nice i'm excited to do my tree now i don't know what color to do this is what we have ended up with after all that so oh my like god pinkies maroony gold mm -hmm. champagne -y. I guess we've found your new theme like every year now because this is going to cost a bomb. I know. You're definitely going to have to reuse have to these next year. But yeah, so that's the range done. Okay, well, that was very, very long. <laughs> we've done it in the end. So I'm really actually happy with the colours that we went for. So. 
Hopefully they look nice on the tree and you guys will see that in time. I think it's going to look so pretty and I can't wait to see how it ends up. And to be honest, I'm excited to now pick Your what tree. I'm going to do. I'm curious because obviously you'll probably do this now. During, yeah. Because the yeah. range is always open. It's not closing um, in lockdown, I think. It's not closing not sure. in lockdown. But then is that essential for me to get my stuff for my tree? I don't know. Maybe I'll I order know. it online. Yeah, maybe do we'll some see. online maybe. ordering. We'll but see. yeah. I'm not sure what we're doing now, but of course you guys will be coming along anyway. So I feel like most of this vlog is in the range, but we hope you enjoyed <laughs> it and it was getting you in the Christmas spirit anyway. 100%. So, yeah. so I've just got back now and yeah, we literally just got back from the range and the range was, I felt like we was in there like forever. Um, but yeah, it's just getting me super excited to start getting Christmassy, cozy vibes and yeah so I've just come back I really really want to just take this makeup off now it feels literally just gross and um, we've just been chatting about next week's videos how we're going to be doing them and stuff and I just also ordered a, another camera Aisha ordered hers already which you would have seen in last week's video which actually now thinking about it it should have been here by now and I haven't actually had any parcels today hmm so I'll have to have a look to see if it's downstairs if they've left a note because it's actually like already what time is it yeah it's half four so it should have been here by now I feel super oily what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you my plans for the spare room and how I'm thinking about doing it for over lockdown um my stuff is all currently downstairs and oh oh a tip down there there is just so much stuff but i thought i would just show you received these from case supply so let's have a look oh the packaging is so cute cute Oh, that's so nicely packaged. <laughs> I forgot which one I picked. That's so cute. Okay, so the first one that I picked was this one, which I think I'm going to put on my phone first. I actually really like that. Can you see? Is it focusing? There you go. Yeah, so that's the first one I picked. And then this is the other one. This reminds me of something my little sister would pick. It's so cute. I really like that. Let me pop this one on my phone first. <laughs> Ta da! That's so cute. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and show you what my mess of a room looks like. Obviously, back at Ben's now, and it just feels so weird. Like, obviously, it doesn't because obviously I was coming back here anyway, but the fact that I've moved back in fully. Um, it's it's just so nice and I'm just I just feel so happy and yeah it's going really well and stuff and now I just need to put my touch back onto the room again because <laughs> it just looks like a boy room at the moment. Okay, so this is the spare room that I'm going to be taking and changing. That bed's obviously not gonna be there also. These are all my coats, so yeah, they will be getting moved at some point. Obviously, I'm gonna be sorting this out probably from tomorrow, but you won't see it. Um, until next week's videos um, and then I've just got some PR boxes there I've got the glossy box calendar which I haven't even shown you guys and um, which I'm super excited to start opening then we've got some glossy box and then that's like a PLT one and then we're working with um, tanologist soon and then here here is actually like my one of my favorite face mask brands they're like sheet ones so I can get it out Ooh. yeah it's these and they're by a brand called skin glow and they are so nice like i'm literally obsessed with these so yeah if you haven't tried these before i highly highly recommend them i love them so much but yeah yes yeah, so i don't know if you're going to be able to see it all because i have literally just changed the whole living room and just put everything in here so i have got such a big task on my hands to sort all this out and put it all back upstairs and make it look really pretty and organized um i am going to be filming a separate video on that 
So I will be filming a separate video on that so you guys will see. That should be coming out next week, I think, at some point. Um, so yeah, because obviously I need to get this done quite soon. So I'm sure it will be in next week's um, vlog. Um, let me just show you these, these boots. I think I might have showed you these. I think I was wearing them in yesterday's video. So last the last vlog that you would have seen. Like I'm obsessed with them, I think they're so cool. I really like them, they're just like really easy, just like nice, classic, high black boots. They're from ASOS, if you're wondering. If I remember, I'll link them down below. If I don't remember and you want to know, just remind me in the comments and then I'll link them. But I think, oh, what's this? Okay, I'm just in a parcel for me. I might as well just open it now on camera. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, it's what I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it's Erin and Holly's um, collection for their phones. Oh, that's so cute. I literally just got an. Uh, I'm an uh, I just got an. Uh, oh, I can't speak. I just got another um, parcel. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Ah, oh, congrats girls, it's so pretty. You can do it, pink vibes. It was all a dream. Oh, like I love that, so pretty. Ah, oh, congrats, I'll quickly show you the other one as well. Oh, I like this one. That'll probably look, I love like the see-through ones. So this one's got butterflies on it. Very, very pretty. I really like them. Yeah, this one's like a, a hard one. And that's like a, a softy bending one. So well done girls, I love that. Look how cute they look there. Ah, they look absolutely stunning in these pictures. Ah, oh. well, yes. Yeah. So I think we are going to wrap up the video. Well, I'm gonna wrap up the video because Aisha's not actually here. Um, and of course I'll be picking back up the camera probably a lot more now, now that we've got like our little thing going on. I'm just going to be vlogging loads with what she's getting up to over at her house. Um, probably with little clips of Jack every now and then. The same, obviously I will be getting Ben involved as well. I've already spoke to him and he really wants to come back on the channel as well. So you guys will be seeing more of him. But I guess we're going to end the video here and we'll catch you in our next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.